Hey, I'm Stefan, or as you probably know me, Cherry Flip, and um, I'm gonna show you how to make an explosion in Photoshop. Um, uh, I'm not really working a lot with this uh, recording program, so I don't know how to make a zoom in on what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tell you what I do. We're gonna make a new file, 550, 550, it's okay. I gotta give it a bl ba black background. Make a new layer, take a white brush, and then I hope you don't have a really old version of Photoshop so you can change the hardness to something low, like 20%. You can also experiment with different sizes and different hardnesses and that kind of stuff. And, um, I'm also going to show you what to do if you have an old version of Photoshop and you can't change the hardness. And we're just going to click it once. And we're going to go filter blur, Gaussian blur. Give it a nice blur. And then you just got to duplicate this one and move it around. Duplicate and move it and duplicate, etc. To you something you want and then we're gonna merge all those layers so now we got sort of what you wanted unfortunately it will be a slightly different effect um, but you know can't do anything about that but anyway that's that's how you gotta do it so I'm gonna continue with this one now we got a lock the transparency by clicking this icon here you see it locked it and then we're gonna go filter render clouds as you can see that became cloud then we're gonna go image adjustments hue saturation check the colorize box and turn the saturation up to get a nice red color 100 is maybe a bit too much but okay we'll just leave it at 100 I'm going to duplicate that layer and turn that one off and then again we're going to go to image adjustments hue saturation turn saturation up and then we're going to pick a nice orangey color oh, that is okay and then we're going to change the blending mode of the red one to color dodge or linear dodge they seem to have the best effect depending on what your background is like, what you're exploding, that kind of stuff. So you're just gonna have to mess around with these settings because I noticed one time that saturation also looked cool. It doesn't right now, but like I said, depends on what your background is and what you're using, blah blah blah. So this is all I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna give you out any more secrets of this well, not that it's really a secret but so you can have the fun of um, experimenting with it and uh, I hope this was uh, a bit useful for you for all of you so uh, have fun